hello everyone welcome back to my channel so friends uh, today i am with another important subject as far as mechanical engineering is concerned so this is the finite element method today in this video i will discuss about how to pass this particular subject that is fem in especially the vtu vishweshwarya technological university students are facing most problems they are telling that this subject is uh, difficult to pass so today i am here to tell you about the strategy how to conquer this particular subject so it is the paramount concern for most of the students in vtu especially so this is the uh, it is subject code is 18 me 61 so in this video i will try to cover all the topics which you should uh, uh, refer over there so that you can easily pass this particular subject with the flying colors so uh, let me tell you in the first module you just prefer these particular topics uh, that is uh, steps involved in FEM uh, they may ask you the basic steps involved in finite element method and also it is advantages disadvantages and applications also you have to refer so then principle of minimum potential energy and plan citrus and plan strain problems simplex complex and multiplex uh, elements were there and node numbering scheme shape function for linear 1d elements if you only prefer these uh, theory questions in this particular module first you will easily get 20 marks with ease over there so this is only module in which you can score 20 out of 20 in this particular module no need to go for the problems uh, bar problems over there only you just focus on the theory part in the first module then after uh, second module comes so in this particular module problems are also there so but uh, some theory concepts are there derivations are there so first one is a shape function for a two two noded bar element they may ask you the derive the shape function for a two noded bar element and then derive the strand displacement matrix b for a cst element so this is one of the most important questions in particular module this uh, module second so you have to derive the strand displacement matrix for a cst element or you can just go through problems also problem part is uh, easy easier one but lengthy uh, uh, there are the analysis of trusses over there bars 1d bars stepped bars and tapered bars it is uh, your convenience what you choose over there uh, if i prefer you people so you can just go through these problems but these are lengthy one i'm again telling you these are lengthy ones but easy so you have to focus on it is uh, according to your own convenience my dear friends as i am telling you so whichever is convenient to, to you so you can go through uh, either the derivation part or the problem part so uh, you can easily get 10 marks if you uh, go through the problems i am telling you you will get 20 marks out of 20 in this particular module also then module 3 comes so in module 3 so this is little bit tougher one uh, as far as uh, rest of the modules are concerned so in this particular module beam problems are there torsion problems are there so if you are just uh, looking for the passing marks so just go uh, through one derivation in this particular module that is the derive hermite shape function of a beam element and also uh, you have to uh, refer uh, this derive stiffness matrix for a beam element these two questions if you are focusing in this particular module and one problem from beam uh, so you will easily get 10 marks also in this particular module only for passing if you want to score then you have to uh, focus on problems as well as derivation part also okay so this is the module third if you are looking for passing then my dear friends go only for the uh, derivation part of uh, hermite shape function or in the or part they will ask you the beam problems these are also simple ones uh, cantilever beam like that so they will ask you okay then so uh, friends in the module four uh, just go through uh, three derivations were there that is a derived stiffness matrix for flow through porous medium and derive 1d heat conductive finite element matrix using variational method and discuss the derivation of one dimensional heat transfer in thin fin this is one of the important questions in module fourth just focus on this particular derivation over here that is the discuss the derivation of one dimensional heat transfer in thin fin almost they have asked in the every examination of vtu this particular question over there so if you are looking for passing you can easily get also 10 marks in this particular module so if you are looking for how to score then go uh, go through the heat transfer problems these are very simple problems over there also you have to do the fem method like uh, in the trust problems and bar problems as i have already uploaded the trust problem uh, trust problems uh, on my youtube channel so i will give you the uh, link in the description box you can go through that you can check the uh, procedure over there very simple procedure but lengthy one these are uh, simple problems over there so heat transfer problems or in the or part you have uh, option of fluid flow problems these are also a simple problems over there okay so i will uh, show you the interface of these fluid flow problems 
see here so this is fluid, uh, fluid flow problem is over here only the procedure is up to this one you have to use your stiffness matrix global stiffness matrix like that so then after you have to calculate the velocity and the volumetric flow rate so like that these are also simple problems my dear friends so fluid flow problems you have option over there if you're not convenient uh, to the uh, heat transfer problems you can go through fluid flow problems i will just prefer you go through these uh, fluid flow problems and the derivation part over there okay so this is the module fourth you can easily get 12 marks if you want to score you can easily get 20 marks also okay friends so then module fifth comes up so uh, in this particular module derive shape function for axisymmetric triangular element this is also an important question one this is uh, you can make it a star double star over there so th uh, this question is definitely asking in the video examination so derive shape function for axisymmetric triangular el element and derive stiffness matrix of axisymmetric bodies with triangular element these two derivations you can go through no need to go through the whole syllabus there is a vast syllabus in this particular subject that is finite element method so you just go through these particular two topics and also in the or part you can just go through derive mass matrix of 1d bar element but i am preferring you people that go through these two derivations only in the module fifth so that you can easily get also 10 marks in this particular marks in this particular module sorry so you can uh, score out, uh, out of 100 that is uh, 60 marks you can pass with the ease ease over there so my dear friends this was the video uh, how to pass finite element method over there i hope you will find this video uh, beneficial so if you find this beneficial so make sure you will share it with your friends who are facing uh, problems in this particular subject as i already mentioned uh, mentioned uh, it is a paramount concern for most of the students especially in the vtu so thanks for watching my video